Lesson number 28, Computer Security and Viruses. By the end of this lesson, you should determine why usernames and passwords are used on computers, identify and apply safety procedures such as antivirus scans and virus checks in maintaining data integrity. Mr. Nawa has just built a nice house in one of the townships in the big city of Undola, but he is worried about the security of his property. So, he decides to build a fence around the house. This is an attempt to improve security and access control. This may also help in reducing theft risks around his property. Just as property need security to be protected from thieves and robbers, computers also require security to be protected from viruses and unauthorized users. This is because computers are used to store important data and to conduct online banking services. This lesson will focus on computer security and viruses. It will also discuss the use of passwords, usernames, and antivirus software in an attempt to protect computers from unauthorized access and viruses. Have you wondered why people use passwords and usernames on their computers, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google accounts? What is a username and what is the password? Why do you think usernames and passwords are important for computer users? A username is an identification used by a person with an access to a computer network or online service. It is made up of a string of characters such as letters, digits, punctuation marks and other symbols. As stated already, usernames are used for a purpose of identity. In other words, they perform the same functions as our real names. However, they don't have to be always our real names. You can create a username according to your preference and creativity. Examples of usernames are Chis82, John X, Wenejai, and Milupi06. A username is an element of security that is linked to your user account. It is also used to track your activities while you are logged into a system or while you are using the computer. Unlike passwords, usernames may be known by other users. They are also referred to as user IDs. In most cases, usernames will require a password. The password is a word phrase or string of characters intended to differentiate the authorized user from an authorized user. 
it is used for a purpose of permitting access to a system. A password must only be known by the user and it is imperative that you keep it to yourself. When using your password in public places such as internet cafes, be cautious that no one sees it. You should also note that anyone who knows your password will have access to your user account. In order to maintain security and user access control, when you enter your username and password, the computer will first check the list of all authorized usernames and passwords. Then it will either grant access when there is a match and deny access when there is none. The two processes of comparing usernames and passwords in order to deny or grant access to a network or computer system are called identification and authentication. This ensures that there is no unauthorized access to your user account or computer system. Without computer or network security, the computer system or network will be vulnerable to cyber criminal activities such as theft of important data and information, phishing and identity theft. Hackers are criminals who are involved in such cyber crimes. In Zambia and other countries around the world, cyber crime is punishable by law. Having discussed usernames and passwords, let's now look at how to apply safety procedures such as virus scans and checks in the quest to maintain data integrity. Usernames and passwords protect your computer from unauthorized access but not from computer viruses. A computer virus is a computer program which is capable of copying itself and typically has a detrimental effect such as corrupting the system or destroying data. How do viruses get into your computer? In most cases, viruses get into your computer during data exchange or sharing through different media such as flash disks, local networks, and the internet. You should also note that viruses are specifically created to harm your computer 
cause data loss and modification. It is for this reason that you should take extra care of your computer in order to protect it from viruses and other malware programs. There are quite a number of computer viruses and they affect the computer system in various ways. However, the most common computer viruses are Trojans and Worms. A Trojan is a type of a malware that downloads onto a computer disguised as a legitimate program while a worm is a malware computer program that replicates itself in order to spread to other computers. In order to protect your computer from viruses, you need to install an effective and trusted antivirus software. The antivirus program may be set in two ways. The most recommended way is to let the antivirus program run during startup. This enables the antivirus to run scans in the background as the computer system operates. The other way is to run the antivirus program when there is need to do so, especially when your computer becomes slow or after noticing some strange behavior in the way your computer is running. In order to understand the antivirus software, let's briefly look at how it functions. The antivirus software is an extensive database of already known viruses and malware. Once it is installed on the computer system, it detects, flags and removes viruses and malware. When you run a scan on your computer system, the antivirus software compares the files in the antivirus database or registry with the files on your PC. The files that match with those in the antivirus software are removed, quarantined or flagged, depending on how you have set your antivirus program. When you update your antivirus software, you simply add new definitions of latest viruses to the antivirus software registry or database. To reduce virus and malware risks on your computer system, it is recommended that you update your antivirus software all the time. You should also scan your computer system every time you update your antivirus software. Note that the new Windows security software on Windows 10 is automated. This means that it runs scans in the background automatically every time you are operating your computer. It also runs auto updates as well as scans on the devices like flash disks and external hard drives when they are connected to your computer. Kaspersky, Bitdefender, Norton, Malwarebytes, Webroot, and Windows Security are some of the most popular antivirus programs.
other actions that you can take to avoid viruses and malware on your computer are a ensure that you scan external devices such as flash disks and hard drives b never click on pop-ups especially when you are online c never allow pop-ups on your browser d never open unknown emails Summary. In this lesson, you learned that usernames and passwords are used to keep computer systems and user accounts secure from unauthorized access. This helps to protect sensitive data and information from being stolen. You further learned that antivirus software is used to protect the computer system from viruses and malware. Lastly, you learned that you should update and scan your computer at all times in order to reduce the risk of virus and malware attacks. Revision exercise. A. Define the following terms. Password, username, virus, and virus software. B. Why do you think usernames, passwords, and antivirus programs are important? C. Briefly describe how you would apply safety procedures on your computer to ensure data integrity. 